Finally, listen to things that Alex Trebek should never say to a contestant. You're going to hate yourself for missing that one. Jeez. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. There's just really no reason for Alex Trebek to be berating players ever. Not during the game, not the next day, not on Howard Stern. Well, I guess that was kind of funny when he made fun of people doing the forest bounce who couldn't back it up with knowledge. But, I mean, for God's sake, these are college kids. They're 18, 20, 22 years old, being on TV for the first time under intense amounts of pressure. And Passover was not a bad guess. It was actually kind of funny, given the clue was about a quarterback. And it was pretty much six months off, but it's better than nothing. Just because he's from Mississippi State doesn't necessarily mean he knows All Saints Day. <sighs> okay, um, Michael has 7,200, just over half of Sam's total, 13,600, Amanda 6,600. I kind of winced toward the end of the round when Amanda and Michael were just guessing, and uh, not very good guesses either. Could add higher totals heading into final. It'll be interesting if Michael doubles up and ties, uh, who was, I can't remember who it was yesterday, who had 7,200, doubled up to 14,400. I wonder what the tiebreaker would be there. Hoping it doesn't come to that. So, 14-4, uh, that's going to be an $800 wager out of Sam or 801. Uh, if he's wrong, he's going to have, what is that, 12-8. Amanda could catch him. Uh, 6200 yeah, or 6201. And, uh, you know, they should probably just go all in. I think, yeah, I did this yesterday. 7200 is an all in bet. Sam just has to wager that 801 to cover. Uh, I changed the arrangement of my room so now the TV is over here so I can watch it while writing down my answer without blocking the board or being in the way of anything. So, uh, I don't know, maybe it'll throw me off. Moments history is a very big category. So let's go ahead and try it out. History for our final today, and here is the clue. This word follows January. For China, 1967. Jesus. Germany, 1848. July, France, 1830. And famously, October, 32nd. Good luck. I mean, why didn't they tell us when it was? I think everyone got this one too, and this is why it's unfair to have different Final Jeopardy clues. Well, this is just a slam dunk. Writing down your response, that's usually a good sign. Let's take a look. The word we were going for is revolution. You are correct, and your wager, I hope, is substantial. It is indeed. You doubled your score to 13,200. Let's go to Michael. He had 7,200. Did he come up with a revolution? He did indeed. And his wager, mm. 7,200, everything. That doubles his score to 14,400. And it takes us to Sam, who was leading a moment ago. Is he going to wind up being in the lead? He came up with the correct response. And did he wager another Good wager. $101? That gives him a margin of $1. All right, so I'm happy with all those wagers. Everyone did what they needed to do. And little does anyone know that, well, I guess they know now, Amanda's actually on the bubble right now, which kind of sucks. 13-2 is not a bad score. It would be better than about half of all past final or uh, quarterfinals in the college championship. Uh, and Michael is now tied for second. I'm going to have to go back. I assume they're going to settle it by who had the higher total going into the double jeopardy round, which is how they usually settle ties for second place in regular play. Of course, I would prefer that they have a single clue tiebreaker, just that last wild card that ever came down to that instead of going by score heading in. <laughs> the chicken power <laughs> response is really funny, too. Nice work, Michael. Um, yeah, I'm dressed up. I Every year there's this event where people run up from the bottom of the Empire State Building to the top, and I was asking the National Anthem, so that was cool. I hope there's a video out there somewhere. I thought I did okay. I thought I did pretty well. 
Uh, we'll have to see. They're really professional grade cameras there. There are people from Japan and China and uh, all these different countries. And the guy who won it, he ran up, was it 1,576 steps in 10 minutes and 36 seconds? Ugh, 86 flights. Man, those people are insane. And very, very ripped as well. And I mean, I don't mean insane as in their brain, but yeah, the amount of training they have to do for that is absurd. But enough out of me. Uh, looking forward to the rest of this week, see how it pans out. Hoping for some higher scores heading into finals so we don't see so many Hail Mary wagers. And uh, yeah, we'll take it there tomorrow. And I hope you'll join me right here on the final wager.